Good evening. The Design Review Board public meeting of December 10th, 2015 is called to, to order. Please refrain from talking amongst yourselves uh, during the meeting and please turn off uh, all cell phones. If you need to talk, please leave the meeting room. Anyone who wishes to speak on an item, including applicants, is asked to completely fill out one of the speaker's cards uh, provided at the table by the front door and submit it to staff. Anyone who wishes to be re-noticed about a project must completely fill out one of the postcards provided at the table by the front door and submit it to staff. Uh, at that point, then, uh, you will receive notice of subsequent meetings. Current DRB agendas are available by visiting our website at www.glendaleca.gov. A handout describing the procedures of the meeting, possible board decisions, and DRB appeals is available at the table by the front door. Please note that appeals must be filed within 15 calendar days of the DRB decision date. The chairperson may reorder agenda items at their discretion. Roll call. Mr. Benlian. Here. Mr. Charchian. Absent. Mr. Malikian. Here. Mr. Mardian. Here. And Mr. Simonian. Present. <clears throat> Report regarding the posting of the agenda. The agenda for this meeting was posted on the bulletin board outside City Hall at or before 5 p.m. on December 2nd, 2015. Oral communications. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on an item not a part of this agenda? I don't have any cards. No cards. So no Great. Cards. All right. We are down to our review calendar. Um, but I don't. Before we review, uh, go to review. Can we take the minutes first? Oh, we can certainly do that. Yes. Can we can, so we can. Uh, I need a motion on the minutes of October eight. So the mo the. Yes, we can do the eighth. I'll move to approve the minutes. I'll second that. Okay. okay. Motion to approve the October 8th minutes. Um, this will be a roll call. Mr. Benlian. Yes. Um, Mr. Malikian. Yes. Mr. Simonian. Yes. Oh, he cannot. He was oh, yeah. absent. You were absent on that one. Mr. Mardian. Yes. Okay. Motion carries 3 0. Okay, October 22nd minutes. Um, we can do that one. Yes, we can do that. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of the October 22nd? I'll make the motion. Okay, a motion was made to approve the minutes. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, uh, roll call to approve the minutes of the 22nd of October. Mr. Benlian? Yes. Mr. Simonian? Yes. And Mr. Um, Mardian? Yes. And then finally, we have the minutes of November 12th. Mm. We can do those can as do well. can do that one, too. Yeah. Um, I'll, move, a motion. I'll move to approve the minutes for November 12th. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, a motion was made to approve the minutes of October 12th. Roll call. Uh, Mr. Malikian? Yes. Mr. Simonian? Yes. Mr. Benlian? Abstain. And uh, Mr. Mardian? Yes. Great. Motion carries 3 0. Uh, and I do have, uh, I, I'd actually like to take something out of order. The second case on the agenda today at um, 3540 Buena Vista Avenue. Um, staff would like to continue this uh, case to a date certain, and that uh, date would be uh, January 14th of next year, 2016. So again, we'd like to continue uh, this case to um, next year, January 14th. That's fine with me. Uh, I'll move to. Um, okay. I'll move with the... Is there a second? I'll second it. Is that Mr. Simonian? Thank you. Okay, a motion was made to continue. PDR 1516692 at 3540 Buena Vista Avenue to January 14th, 2016. Roll call, Mr. Malikian. Yes. Mr. Simonian. Yes. Mr. Benlian. Yes. And Mr. Mardian. Yes. Great, thank you very much. Um, 
Mr. Chair, uh, I would like to abstain myself uh, from the next item on the agenda. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. All right, let's uh, keep keep it rolling. On All right. The next case is the agenda item PDR one five one seven six five three one one three five Elm Avenue. Um, and I'll go to Mr. Kiesel. Great. Thank you very much. Good evening again, Mr. Chair, members of the Design Review Board. The uh, only item on the agenda this evening is case number PDR 1517653. It's a review of a proposal to demolish an existing a single car garage and construct a new 1,534 square foot uh, residential dwelling unit and integrating into that new structure a single car garage as well as a three-car garage uh, with access from the existing alley to the, and the rear of the site. The subject site is zoned R2250 and located at 1135 Elm Street. It is uh, approximately 6,400 square feet in area with 40 feet in width and 160 feet in depth. Uh, related to the proposed new dwelling unit, there uh, were Two discretionary permits recently approved. Uh, one was an administrative exception to allow 20% deviation from the minimum five foot setback for attached garages and from the average eight foot interior setback. And that's um, on the west elevation. And then there was a variance granted to allow construction of a new dwelling unit without providing uh, any common outdoor space. Uh, the new dwelling unit, single car garage and three car garage, uh, which is all one structure, uh, will be built at the rear of the site. Uh, the administrative exceptions were granted for setbacks on the west side of the building. Uh, and instead of a, 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 the required common open space, a variance was granted to allow two generous private open space areas. One of those areas is located between the two dwelling units in the middle of the site and the other is adjacent to the entrance to the new unit. Uh, with regard to landscaping, the board should require a landscape island between the one-car bay and the two-car bay garage driveways at the, at the alley. That's at the rear of the site. And let me actually... I'll go okay, up. Can you point that out? Because that's yeah. part of the turnaround. Right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me just point out the, the private open space uh, is here. So this is, the, this is the existing dwelling. The existing garage is in this area. The new dwelling is here with the new garage and the three-car garage here. So the setback uh, administrative exceptions are for a garage being four feet from the property line instead of five as well as for this area here to have an average setback of just over seven feet instead of eight feet. The common open, or I'm sorry, the private open spaces are right here for the existing dwelling unit and right here for the new dwelling unit. And the landscape area that you're... Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, the landscape area right here. And our comprehensive design guidelines uh, spell out that when you have um, a, a number of bays, you should break up the driveway with a like a landscape island. Okay. Uh, staff is also suggesting uh, that landscape plans be provided for the front yard of the uh, of the site uh, because currently it's it's um, grass and it it may very well get a little bit disturbed in the whole in the work but uh, you know again we're uh, you know encouraging low water plantings uh, the mass and scale of the project is appropriate uh, Are for you the referring site to the front yard off of Elm correct yeah the front yard of the site yeah. 
The mass and scalar project is appropriate um, for the neighborhood as it provides sort of a bridge uh, on a street that really contains a wide variety of development. The pictures, there are pictures of the neighborhood up there and there are a few um, kind of low scale multifamilies on the site, but there are also some very large, dense multifamily developments there as well. So this, uh, this site really is kind of a bridge between the two. Uh, in addition, mass is broken up through the varied setbacks and uh, s uh, second floor stepbacks and balconies on, uh, on the proposed dwelling. With regard to design and detailing, uh, the existing front unit is you know, small, utilitarian, uh, developed in mid-century. Uh, and the proposed unit is uh, obviously a, a Spanish revival style. The board typically encourages residences on the same lot to be of the same style or uh, sort of a relationship between the two. Uh, the applicant has indicated that um, the existing residents will undergo at some point renovations in the future to uh, reflect a more Spanish design as opposed to the mid-century design that, that is current. Uh, the board should uh, consider this information when discussing the appropriateness of the style of the re of the of the new building. Uh, given the Spanish revival style of the proposed unit, uh, window insulation should be slightly recessed. And additionally, the board should consider changing the second floor bedroom window on the southern elevation from a hung window to a casement. And then finally, um, the light, lightweight concrete tile uh, should be two-piece to better reflect the Spanish style architecture of the building. Uh, I believe there were five conditions uh, added to approval of the project. I can either go over them or I can conclude. You just did go over them. I'm aware, you know, I'm fine with the conditions there. The only question I had is that landscaping truly necessary for that? I mean, it's such a small area. Um, you know, I know the guidelines go. I mean, it's going to. That's. You're referring to the landscaping off of the alley? Yeah, right, the, the landscape alley. island? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be so small. Eventually, we'll just disappear. <laughs> I, I, can, I can get the comprehensive design guidelines and read, read what it says. Uh, I mean, I guess it's, it's up to you. I'm just it's such a small area. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine eliminating. You know, because I don't see it happening any. I have especially cars going in and out. They might be going over it all the time anyway. Section. Mm -hmm. That's just going to. How much are you going to Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll check the guidelines okay. and come back to you with that. So um, if you want to okay. begin your discussion. Or actually, yeah, yeah, there's the applicant. The public. Yeah. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, I mean, to the staff, any questions? Okay. Um, I have one speaker, Annette Minassian. You want to add anything? Or? No, I'm just here if you have questions. Actually, any questions? Um, actually, just one thing, sorry. Um, for the, we have mentioned that the windowsill is a EFIS, but we're going to change that to wood, wood sill. On all that's, the windows. Yeah, but that's the only comment. And, and as far as the conditions that staff has recommended, um, specific to recessing the windows, um, have you guys considered that? Is that something uh, where you worked into um, your plans, or what are your thoughts on that? I have, actually, I believe it is. I have some details if you guys would like <sighs> to see for the windows. Yeah, generally, that's a standard comment we put in if we don't have the section drawing in the set. So okay. we just want to make sure. But do you just mention slightly? Is there a number? I mean, is there? Yeah, I'll take a look. At we, we, we try to avoid numbers. Just you know, set back in the wall a reasonable amount. Okay. Since I have you, Ms. Manassian, I had a question. Uh, the you know, the family. This exposed beam, is that going to be attached or is it going to be just, you know, within the stucco? 
I mean, are you going to be tested in the stack up? Or space for landscape should be. That, I believe, is uh, going. To I'm just thinking it'll be a better detail of who is inserted a little more. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not sure exactly, but that can be. I can definitely take a note okay. of that. And these members, the exposed rafters, are. I'm ass they're drawn like four by. I'm assuming they are four by, but we want to make sure that they are four by. I actually have this detail for that as oh, well. Yeah. They're actually, if I'm not mistaken, six by six. That's okay. I just want to make sure that the, the width of those rafters we are have some substance. substance yeah. mm -hmm. um, other than that, um, no other questions, uh, unless we have any questions. Okay. Oh, well, I did. Uh, as far as the landscaping comment is concerned and, and landscaping the front uh, setback, um, are you guys looking into that? Is that something you've considered? Um, for the front dwelling? Yes. Or, yeah. Um, we are, we're, after we work on this, I think I think so, we are. Okay, so the architect is uh, complying with that yeah. voluntarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one question, uh, those blue vents that you have, they're not just attached, right? They're just two flues that go in into the... I'm sorry, can't Those I? vents, uh -huh. those circular or the flues, the clay flues, they're not just attached to the building. Uh, they're actually a true vent. Are they decorative? Or I think really? they're, I think they're, if I'm not mistaken, they are decorative, but. Um, I, I believe they're through. Yeah. They're, they're through. They're through. They're they're through. Sure we don't through. see any not other Not just vent. decorative yeah, attached because other they, over time, so. they just fall fall off. Right. Steph is indicating they're, they're, <laughs> okay. they're, yeah, they're, true. they're through. I mean, yeah. the design is well done. I, I, you know, the little, you these little my, my, yeah. my minor details make it. Uh, other than that, I have nothing else. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Close the public hearing. Uh, and I've got a couple updates. Okay. Um, first thing I wanted to make clear, um, mostly to the applicant, um, the condition uh, of landscaping, let's see, where is it? Include the front yard in the landscape plans. Um, that would be required with permitting of, of this project. It, it wouldn't be delayed until any future uh, changes to the front of the existing house. So I wanted to make that clear. So it has to be done in, in if, conjunction with the... Correct, correct. So if this condition stays, then we would expect, um, when I stamp off on, on the design review approval of the project and when I do zoning approval, that I would have landscape plans to look at for the front yard okay. of, the, of the site. So, uh, I, I'm not sure if the applicant was. Uh, we can give a rebuttal. I think they're okay time. with that. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. All right. And then the second thing is, I wanted to read you, with regard to the landscape island, uh, it is a in the multifamily design guidelines under landscape design. Um, it's a space for landscaping should be provided adjacent to alley garage entries where feasible. Typically, pockets of landscaping can be, provide, be provided between garages. So that's the language I use to, to, um, to suggest that as a condition. It looks like not a requirement. It looks like if you want to do it. Well, it's, it's at the, at the board's direction, we could make it a consideration. The guidelines aren't rules, as you know, so if you decide in this case it's not well, I mean, important. We're talking about two feet. I mean, that's, that's the extent of the width of the... <coughs> You know. Correct. Yeah, that's about it. And, and if it's done, it could also be a shallow one. It doesn't yeah. need to go all the way. So to, okay, let's let's you know, leave it so. Point. It could be just like a foot by two feet or something. Let's leave it. I guess. Leave it as a condition or a consideration. It's up to the board. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you feel? Any as a consideration? In my uh, opinion. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, from what I heard, if feasible, it should be worked in, and so I think uh, considerable. Uh, as a consideration is an appropriate language and, and then they could look at it while they're going through the landscape plan and design to see if it's something you guys think is feasible for it to maintain itself long term. And uh, that's it, Mr. Kiesel? That was all my 
I want to give the applicant a, a rebuttal for the comment that you made about the landscaping that is understood that you do this while you know you're doing this okay all right and with that uh, well, any other comments or uh, no well then I need a motion or you want to read you any conditions uh, that we have added or anything uh, what okay. I I have the five conditions Let me close in the, the staff public hearing. report. Okay. <clears throat> I have the five conditions in the staff report. I've changed number one to consider amending the landscape plans to include a landscape area between the between the one car bay and the two car bay garage doors, and then um, I've added con added a condition wood sills um, to be on all windows, not the EFIS material. Okay. And that's that's based on this note isn't on the plans, but uh, the applicant did mention it. Right. So that's that was the condition I added. And then, as written, uh, condition four is really a consideration about the hung window at the south facade. Right. So. So if you if you want that a requirement, we need to change that to replace well, most the most of the house is all. Uh, Casement, isn't it? Yeah, majority. I, majority. Yeah. yeah. Change it to casement. What's that room? I forgot. What's behind? All right. That so number four, replace the proposed hung window. The bedroom window. For a casement window on the second floor. Yeah. Let's just keep it consistent. That's the only one from that side. Okay. All right. And that was it. And the only thing I wanted to make sure is those members, the exposed rafters are four by, and the true vents are, those flue vents are true vents. Okay. You know, quite, I don't the, know if my colleagues mm -hmm. agree on that. And those are it. And? And then the, what were they, rafter tails? Mm, yeah, these are, I think they're b -mans. b mans you know, you have them on, I think, number... Oh. Beam ends. Um, I have the detail if you want to. You have to come. We can just put it as a condition in it, and then it'll yeah. be fine. Oh, they are rafter tails. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, rafter tails. Yeah. Six by six rafter tails are pretty heavy. So. Is it six by six? I That's what we heard from the design team. They don't look like six by six. They look like more like four by six. Oh, okay. Well, six by so eight. rafter tails are at I'm least four by four. Four by four. By four. Well, four by whatever the member comes up. Or some okay. sort of structure. Well, yeah. he's going to probably sister them. These are the decorative ones. You have to sister them. If you want to show us the detail, we'll take they the are. detail. Okay, sorry. Since we're talking about it. Yeah, I know what he's going to get. Yeah, he's going to sister those. They need to be substantial because you're going to have gutters, so you don't want to lose that. And after you put the gutters, Lose that image unless if you're looking at it from. Okay, um, that's it. Okay. Anyway, uh, those are the conditions. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move to approve the project. I'll second. Roll call, please. Okay, a motion was made to approve the project with the conditions um, as amended. This will be roll call, Mr. Benlian. Yes. Mr. Simonian? Yes. Mr. Mardian? Yes. Great. Motion carries 3 0. So, just to, before we close, how many cases are we going to have on Jan January 14th? Um, I'm not sure yet. I think four, five, six. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> We couldn't have uploaded this one a little more. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. not. <laughs> they tried. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I take a motion well, to adjourn. I move uh, to adjourn and happy holidays to everybody. Yes. Second. Same here. Happy, happy holidays. New year. Happy Thank New you. Year. Healthy and blessed year. I move to adjourn. Thank okay. you. Thank you.
you, Santa Claus!